So then, here we are, final game of the season, Manchester United versus Bray Wanderers at Old Trafford, and a game which could see the Irish side get relegated, or could see them keep their place in the Premier League for another season. Excited? I certainly am. Let's check out the fixtures and the table as well. So this is the Premier League table through 37 games. Forget about the top half of it, no one cares about that. It's all about the bottom half of the table in today's game. As you can see, anyone from 12th to 18th on the final game of the season could still get relegated. So seven teams are fighting for survival on the final day of the Premier League season. Even West Brom in 12th could go down at the end of 90 minutes. That's probably not going to happen though. So today, even though West Brom, Sunderland and Villa aren't safe yet, we're going to forget about those guys. They're probably going to survive. I'm just going to focus on Bray, Watford, Stoke and Leicester. I believe one of those four teams will end up getting relegated. Now, Norwich and Swansea were relegated a long time ago. Leicester City in 18th place right now are the only side in the drop zone that can stay up on the final day. Leicester and Ranieri are away to Chelsea, though, at Stamford Bridge. They're in second place. So, surely, surely Leicester aren't going to get anything from that game and they'll be getting relegated. They have to at least get a point on the final day otherwise they are down and I do want to point out as well if they don't win Bray Wanderers are guaranteed to stay up so if they just get a draw only Watford and Stoke can be overtaken now Stoke are in 17th place they're at home to West Ham so that's a definitely winnable fixture for them West Ham are in 11th place right now Stoke in 17th so that's a winnable fixture for them and Watford are at home to Sunderland Sunderland in 13th place and right now again they could also go down so that's a winnable fixture for them as well so those two sides will most likely I would say at least get a point each in that game and that will be enough for them to overtake us as well because all they need due to the goal difference is one point and if we lose today we will drop below them both to 16th or I should say 17th place or possibly 18th place if Leicester win but let's hope it doesn't happen so we're uh, we're away at Manchester United we're away at Old Trafford uh, I don't see us getting anything from that game United beat us by four goals in at Carlisle grounds our heaviest defeat of the season so good confidence going into the reverse fixture we're away at Old Trafford we're taking on Louis Van Gaal's side a point for us in this game will surely secure safety. I mean, it, it might not, it might not, but I'm, I'm almost certain it will. So we're taking on United away. This is the league table. I'll show you the final fixtures as well, just to confirm them. And uh, I mean, I just, the way this season's gone, the way this season's gone, anything can happen. So even though we're in such a great position and we shouldn't be going down today because anything can happen and because of the way this season's gone, I'm not taking any chances. So Bray away at Old Trafford. Come on, Bray Wanderers. At least get a point. Let's secure our safety. Let's stay in the Premier League. Come on, Bray. I'm almost certain. Like, I'm, I'm going into the game and I'm almost certain we're going to stay up because I just don't see Leicester winning away at Chelsea. And, of course, they have to win for us to go down. So... I, I just, I can't see us going down. I'm not going to leave it a chance. This is the team I'll pick. Use your first 11. Kennedy Skipper. Can't take the captain's armband off him on the final day. I did see some comments saying, give it to Chumacero, give it to Singh. Nah, I've got to keep Kenner as Skipper, one of the, uh, the Bray Wanderers faithful. And I just, I can't see Leicester winning, but it's just the way this season's gone. Put it this way, I thought Stoke were going to be dead and buried by now. I thought Stoke would be dead and buried with a couple of games to spare. As things stand, they're probably going to stay up. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a crazy season. It's been a bizarre season. Seven teams fighting for uh, survival on the final day. We need to make sure we get the goal alerts on, even though they don't always come through. We need Stoke and West Ham. We need Watford and Sunderland. Uh, we need Leicester and Chelsea, obviously. Do we need to worry about Arsenal Villa? Probably not. And uh, what about who else is around us right now? West Brom Liverpool. Forget about that one as well. We'll just we'll just keep on Watford, Stoke, and Leicester because those are the only teams we're worried about really. I mean, I, I can't see anyone else going down to be honest. So. I, I, I think I think those are the only teams we need to worry about. So here we go. Final game of the season. Bray Wanderers. Let's stay in the Premier League. Come on, lads. We don't want to go down. And also, throughout this game, I'm going to be updating a live league table for you as well. Now, sometimes the goal alerts don't come in, even when goals do get scored during the game. So because of that, it may not be 100% accurate. And because my maths is so bad, it will probably be about 20% accurate. But either way, I will be updating a live league table for you, just because it's such a massive game. And hopefully, hopefully will always be away from the drop zone. And this is Manchester United's side for the final game. They've rested a few players. They've got Sam Johnston starting in goal. How about that? But it is a really strong side, no doubt about it. Some class players in there. A front two of Benzema and Wayne Rooney. Extremely worrying for a side who can't afford to lose. So 
very, very worrying, and uh, our team, of course, looks like this. A bit of a, a contrast when it comes down to ability on the pitch, but either way, we've got Jackie Boy up top. Luke Mann hasn't scored in about four months. I fancy him to get a goal today. I really do. Why not? We'll have to wait and see, though. It is the final game of the season. The stage is set here at Old Trafford. Manchester United versus Bray Wanderers. Are we going to survive on the final day, or are results elsewhere going to go against us? and see us end up in a drop zone. I really hope that's not the case. I'm excited, I'm extremely nervous. Are we gonna complete the challenge? Am I gonna save Bray, or are we going down? Here's hoping it's the former, not the latter. Old Trafford's ready. United don't care what happens. We're, this game means everything to us. United versus Bray, a chance to survive in the Premier League. Let's do it, I'm saving Bray, I'm keeping him up. So early corner for United and Schweinsteiger will take it towards the far post. The header goes just wide of the post and behind for a goal kick. Was that Nick Powell? I think it might have been. And United have the first chance of the game from the set piece. But it's still goalless. And if that's what we're in store for for the entire 90 minutes, I don't see us <laughs> keeping a clean sheet. Oh, that was a little bit nervy. The one thing I'm worried about in this game is not getting chances. I can't see us getting too many opportunities to get goals in this one. And because of that, if United score just once, I think that'll be enough for them. But here's Raul to Winslow back here. Finds Jumacero. Jumacero. I'm waiting for Singh to make the run. He's done so. It's Jackie Boy inside the area. Oh, you just knew it. You just knew it. 12 minutes in. Jackie Chan Singh makes it 1-0. I want to celebrate with the substitutes. He's a team player. I don't even get the chance to. We don't care. United nil. Bray Wanderers won. You just knew it. A dream start for Bray. A win insecure safety and it's 1-0 he rifles the ball past Sam Johnson first shot first shot on target first goal United nil Bray Wanderers won we can't believe it already taking the lead at Old Trafford get in oh you just knew it like you just knew he was gonna score today you just knew he was gonna score today and Leicester have equalized against Chelsea so see we didn't get notified of the Chelsea goal but Leicester have equalized so you know a little bit worrying for us they, they need to win to relegate us anyway and because we're winning it means nothing now but Either way, what a start. Jackie boy, come on. What a signing. And now Powell for United to Rooney. Back to Powell. Back to Romero. Romero goes for goal. Drea with the save. Good stop by the South American. We need a big performance from him between the sticks today. Now Benzema for United. Inside towards his teammate. Kenner gets there and gives it straight to Nick Powell. And Powell through towards Schweinsteiger. Who can strike him and goes for goal. And puts it just wide of the post. Schweinsteiger takes it around. Brennan defines Darmian down the right hand side. Chilwell comes across. Darmian takes it around him cross to the center in it goes Kenner gets it away and look man with the touch and a chance on the break here as he chips it through to Tumacero and now a real chance as we go Tumacero to Conley over the top to Jackie boy he's only got daily blind to beat here he can he, can he get past him yes he can can he beat another one as well oh sing I want to run Jackie boy no way surely off the bar off the bar from Jackie boy and routed it so to keep it on but straight to Romero and United get it cleared. Jackie boy, what a run. Brennan through to Tumacero. Tumacero to Sing. Sing out wide to Connolly. He's found him. Down the right hand side. Look at the space for Dylan Connolly here. Blink comes across. Connolly beats him to it. It's still Connolly. I'm waiting for the run of you know who. Jackie boy for two. He's done it again. He's done it again. United nil. Bray Wanderers two. This time he celebrates with his substitutes. The ginger lad gets in on the action. He said he wanted to leave the club recently in the news articles. We don't care. United nil. Bray Wanderers 2. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Except for the fact that I was right. Jackie Boy has come to this club. Shown the desire. Shown the spirit to become a Bray Wanderers legend. And he's going to do so. He came in on deadline day. That's his 10th goal. That's his 10th goal since signing. It's his second goal today. Phil Jones can't believe it. He's being terrorised by the Indian machine. Jackie Chan Singh. No one stops the number 16. United nil. Bray Wanderers 2. And in a game where we may not have even needed to pull anything out, we're going to pull out maybe the best win of the season. 2-0 Bray. I don't want to jinx it, but game of the year? Episode of the series? Who knows? 2-0. That's all we care, though. Bray Wanderers are staying up.
So Damian down the right hand side for United, takes it around Lookman, finds Phil Jones. If we can just hold on until half time at 2-0, we'll have so much confidence. Damian on the ball, all the way back to Chris Smalling. Come on, we're just, we're just pegging United back towards the halfway line. And there we go, half time here at Old Trafford. We've played this game perfectly. United are caring about possession more than anything else. Whenever we get the ball, we hit them on the break. We've done so twice. Jackie Boy's got two on the final game of the season to reach 10 for the year. United nil, Grey Wanderers two at a half. Who would have seen this coming? And these are the results at half time right now. Arsenal are beating Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Chelsea are beating Leicester by two goals to one. Uh, right now as well, Stoke are drawing 1-1 with West Ham. And also Watford are beating Sunderland by a goal to nil as well. West Brom currently losing to Liverpool too, also worth noting. So I'll, I'll see if I get my maths right and you'll have a table in the bottom right or the bottom left or top left, top right, somewhere on the, on the screen right now anyway. You'll be able to see the current table as things stand due to the results elsewhere around the grounds. And I mean, all you need to know right now is that we're winning and that's enough for us. So we're safe, we're safe. I don't know what the table will look like right now. You'll see what it actually looks like properly, confirmed, surely. Um, but we're safe as things stand, so don't worry too much. We're safe as things stand. Leicester got to score two goals. We got to collapse. Surely it's not going to happen. Surely Bray is staying up. So corner to United. Schweinsteiger takes. Out comes Drea. Drea with the safe hands again. Saving his best till last. Quick throw to Lookman as well. And a chance now on the break here. As Lookman, he's taking it around Daily Blint. He hasn't scored in months. But he's showing the confidence. Lookman, he could be through for his first goal in ages. Saved by Johnston. And it will be cleared by Romero. And poor old look, man. He's had such a great start to the season, but ever since Jackie's come in, he doesn't know how to score anymore. Oh, so unlucky. Gazzy's clearance only as far as Romero. Higazi's got, Higazi's got to get back in line here because we're playing them all onside. Rooney, it's 2-1. Higazi cleared the ball and he just stood there. Mate, you've got to get back in line. You can't just stand there. The clearance comes in. Just watch Higazi here. He faces the other way and doesn't care. You've got to get back in line, bro. Seriously. Rooney with a good strike. Jareer can't get there. 2-1. Things starting to become a little bit nervy for me now as Wayne halves the deficit. It's okay, we're still leading. We're still leading, but a little bit nervy now. 2-1. Let's not choke, please. Sure for United, down left-hand side. Picks out Wayne Rooney or tries to. Higazi comes across and takes him sliding as well. Higazi with a dirty play on Wayne Rooney there, but it's all right. It's okay. We don't mind seeing that fire. Conley's throw to Chumacero. Chumacero now on the ball. Plays it inside to his teammate, Jackie Boy. What a first touch. Nice second touch to pick out Rauta. Inside to Lookman. Lookman! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! It's 3-1. Our two-goal lead is back. Lookman goes to the corner flag and hits it in celebration. United won. Bray Wonder is free. Our two-goal cushion is restored. Oh, this is incredible. Sing to his teammate Rauta. Rauta to look, man. Gets it out of his feet and just lets fly from outside the area. He hasn't scored in months. He's now scored on the final day to all but confirm our safety. Sam Johnston beaten for the third time in the game. Look, man, with his first goal in, I can't even remember how many games it's been. We don't care, though. It's goal number nine for the season. Catching up to Jackie. 3-1. Get in. Surely now it's game over. Surely Bray is safe. Nick Powell for United, forced all the way back towards Bastian Schweinsteiger, Schweinsteiger inside to Benzema, what a touch by Benzema, great tackle by Kenner, they came straight back to Benzema, who is denied by Drea, good save there, oh no, Jackie, Jackie to Lookman, I want to score from this break here, Chumacero, Lookman, towards Singh, please carry, no, Blink gets there, this is the sign of confidence right now. 3-1. I just, I love this team. I love this team. Damian for United. Down the right hand side. Would he get one final chance for a second goal? Tackled by his man. And there it is. Final score here at Old Trafford. Manchester United 1. Bray Wanderers 3. The players don't even seem to be celebrating it. But you better believe that I'm fist pumping right now. 3-1, the fans can't believe it. The best result of the season pulled out on the final day to secure safety. And you know who grabbed the brace as well. Jackie Boy set us on the way with two first half goals. We were leading by two goals to nil at the break. And in the second half, Rooney got United back in the game. But look, man, fitting as well. The only permanent player that we've bought for Bray Wanderers, who hadn't scored in months, broke his goal drought with a goal to seal the game. Final score, United. 
United won, Bray Wanderers free, and we are safe in the Premier League. Talk about pulling it out. Four shots, four on target. That's the definition of clinical. Three goals as well. United did have far more possession, but we don't care about that. Eight shots, four on target. They might feel harshly done by, but the fact of the matter is, most of the time in the game, they spend just passing between one another around the halfway line. So in my opinion, we deserve this win. I felt we actually played quite well, and we got the win by three goals to one. So delighted with that. Who do you think's man of the match, guys? Anyone but Jackie? No, obviously not. Jackie Chan Singh, man of the match. A brace in the final game of the season to become the first Bray Wanderers player to reach double figures. He may, end the, he may even end up on the top scoring charts as well. But to be honest, every single player in this game played fantastically well. Even Hagazi, who didn't redo really a good job for the uh, goal United score, actually did all right in that game. A couple of key blocks. So we get the win by three goals to one. It doesn't matter whatever, whatever what happened elsewhere in the uh, in the league. But as you can see, Chelsea thrashed Leicester by four goals to one, which means that Claudio Ranieri's side, who actually played tonight against Newcastle, could potentially win the title. In the game, they've been relegated. They finished in 18th place. This is the final league table here in the Premier League. And Bray Wanderers finished in 12th place with 47 points. 13 wins, 8 draws, 17 defeats. And, okay, 37 goals, uh, third lowest scorers in the league. But 48 goals conceded. That's not too bad. And a minus 11 goal difference. But 47 points. Bray Wanderers finishing in a comfortable position in the end. Safe by five points. We could have lost that game 20 nil. We still would have been safe. But instead, we won it by three goals to one. I can't believe it. We're safe. Get it. Come on. Every game, you know, every single game was a challenge in some way. Whether it be in the games which were quite tedious and really hard to create chances chances in or the games where we're under constant pressure for the entire 90 minutes I've enjoyed this challenge so much because every single game felt like we were the underdog the true underdog and to have come through and finished in 12th place safe by five points I mean what a fantastic way to end this season and what a great way to complete this challenge I mean it was difficult. It was more difficult than you would think by looking at this table. But what you've got to look at right here was there were only, I mean, there were only nine points separating eighth from 18th place. It was a really, really bizarre season. Other than Arsenal, no one really pulled away towards the top of the table. So a really, really interesting season, but a fun one nonetheless. And for Bray Wanderers to stay up. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? It really is. What a great achievement. And I am just delighted. So goalkeeper of the tournament went to Michel Vorm. Uh, he was the goalkeeper of the year. Kane won the golden boot with 16 goals. With Cech, who scored the most goals um, in the uh, in a minute. Uh, Drea going to team of the year. So did Chumacero. Drea and Chumacero made team of the year. How about that? And he was player of the year as well. He was player of the year as well. Esteban Drea, player of the competition. Oh, Esteban, I, I, I feel I owe you an apology. I mean, I feel I owe you an apology for all the times I was on your back during this season. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. You were apparently the best player out of every single one in the Premier League this year. So, well done, Esteban. A double celebration for you. Keeping Bray in the league and winning player of the year and being named in the team of the year despite not being the goalkeeper of the year. So how Michelle Vaughan must be feeling, I don't know. But brilliant. Well done, Drea. But the most important thing, Bray Wanderers avoid relegation. Embarrassment? Would it have really been embarrassing had we gone down? Come on, more about Bray Wanderers avoid relegation in style. That's a better way of putting this news article. Oh, fantastic. Relegation was not what Bray Wanderers fans would have been expecting at the start of the season. What? What? Who writes these? But now that they have secured their Barclays PL spot, they want to put it all behind them. Are you kidding me? This is a season to remember. Next season needs to be different. Hopefully the lads will now step up their game after experiencing a near relegation situation, explained Bray Wanderers manager. That's rubbish. I, I did not say that. This is Daily Mail stuff. I did not say that. That is pure libel. I did not say that at all. What I said to my players is this. Unbelievable job. We stay up in the Premier League. No one would have predicted it, but we keep ourselves up. Amazing achievement. What a season. Well done, everyone. See, print that Daily Mail. And after staying up as well, the board have given us £5.6 million. So one year in the Premier League and Bray Wanderers have seen more money than they've ever seen in their club's entire history. Incredible. And now let's take a look at the player stats here. Uh, top scorers, Kane indeed did win the golden boot. And as you can see, Jackie Chan Singh made his way into the top 15 scorers in the Premier League 
this season after coming in on deadline day, finishing in 15th place. How about that? That's great to see. We'll, 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 um, we'll think he get there as well. Will Lookman get there? Yes, he does. In 25th place, Lookman got there as well. They combined for a total of 19 goals, the pair of them this season. Great strike partnership. I mean, Lookman who scored once since Singh came in. But either way, Lookman gets into 25th place. Singh in 15th place. 19 goals for the pair of them. That's great to see. Um, assists as well. Did we get an on here? Uh, Sessegnon won it. Oscar in second. Both of 11. Brennan. Yeah, Brennan. Brennan got seven assists this season and finished in seventh place with a top assist as well. So well done, Brennan, too. One of the brave ones, old boys. And Tumacero with, uh, with five this season. Season, finishing in 16th place, the little Bolivian maestro. Well done, son. That's great to see. Two players getting the top assist charts. And Drea finished in second place with 12 clean sheets too. The Bray Wanderers players gave it their all this season, no doubt about that. And we have kept ourselves up in the Premier League. That's the most important thing. You know, these individual awards are great, but no doubt about it. The most important thing is what you saw in the league table. Bray Wanderers finishing in 12th place. Unbelievable. What a season. I, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm just so happy. I am genuinely so happy. This has been one of my toughest challenges ever. I feel like the underdog in every single game. I felt under immense pressure in so many of the games as well. But to have finished in 12th place, five points off safety, and to pull out the best result of the season on the final day as well, 3-1 away at Old Trafford, what a fantastic season this has been. And so the final thing I'll show you is the squad reports. You can take a look at the player attributes and the stats as well. So many of these players put in fantastic shifts in their debut years. I mean, you've got to give credit to Drea. I did not believe he had 12 clean sheets, but fair enough. Fantastic season for him in the end, despite so many errors. I thought Agazi was great since coming in. Cortal a bit underrated too. Chilwell on loan from Leicester, left back two, scored uh, a couple of goals this season as well. Connie as well won the Bray Wanderers uh, originals. He did quite well. Chumacero won the underrated players this season, uh, finishing with 65 overall as well. Uh, Routes came in in January. He was all right. A little bit of a tricky maestro down the left-hand side. He was a good little signing for us too. And, of course, the strikers as well. Well, we all know who player of the season was. And he only played half of it. Jackie Chan Singh with 10 goals since coming in on deadline day. And don't forget, he was out for a few weeks of an injury too. Unbelievable. Look, man, as well. Nine goals for him, despite not scoring in a while. Did score on the final day. Grew to a 71. 12 ratings up by 12 ratings unbelievable and uh, Ricketts as well well less said about Tosse Ricketts the better but he did score two crucial goals one against Villa one against Chelsea so he wasn't terrible I suppose and those are the attributes of the players now I'll show you the stats as well I'm actually really surprised about the Drea stat as well 12 clean sheets in 38 games I, I did not think that was true I was just just under a third of the games he kept clean sheets in so a little bit surprising that one but um, either way I'm glad to see it um, but still a great season I mean just exactly what we would have wanted staying up in the Premier League and to have done it as well by a few points not just doing it by the skin of our teeth it just feels great it really really does feel great so fantastic season I'm absolutely delighted I'm out of breath and I'm just I'm so so happy because again this has been one of my toughest challenges ever I love doing these little challenges and this was this was great this was so fun and it really was enjoyable Jackie with 10 goals in 12 games since coming in an average rating of 6.9 I mean the guy was just phenomenal wasn't he unbelievable since coming in on deadline day everyone doubted him but me I knew he'd be okay and he turned out to be better than okay he turned out to be fantastic uh, look man with 9 in 33 fell the ball a little bit towards the end of the season but either way scoring on the final day was nice good signing for us and for £170,000 I think it's safe to say that was a good investment as well Ricketts with only two goals in 32 games such a shame that he never really worked out but either way two assists two goals not disastrous and again those two goals were crucial as well helping us beat Chelsea away and Villa away as well so he didn't do too badly and, and good good effort son good effort uh, McDonough and Kelly as well Kelly scored four goals Kelly scored four goals. Oh, okay, two came in pre-season. I was going to say, no way did Kelly score four goals. I don't even remember them. But either way, that's the squad report. You've seen the league table. You know it. Bray Wanderers are staying up in the Premier League. What a great season. Thank you all so, so much for watching. This has been an unbelievable challenge and what a way to end it as well. I am absolutely delighted. And that is going to be today's episode of Saving Bray as well. So I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I have had so much fun making this series for you. It has been so enjoyable for me to try something different, to do it in a different style, and to just have a lot of fun, upload these videos, see what you guys have been saying about them. The comments and the likes have usually been really, really positive. It makes me feel really good about myself, and I'm just 
just so glad that even though this series has been a lot of work, it's been really hard to, uh, to maintain it as well, to keep the effort for every single video, the enthusiasm as well. I'm glad that it's been so well received and you guys have enjoyed it very much. So I want to say a massive thank you, not only for watching the episode, but this series as well. I couldn't do YouTube without your support. I appreciate you all so very, very much, and I'm so glad you've enjoyed watching this series with me. So thank you so much for watching. There will be a special video of the best bits of Saving Bray coming very soon as well. You'll see a montage, a compilation of some of the finer moments in this series. Hopefully you'll enjoy that, and it should be really good fun to watch. So thank you for watching the episode. Thank you for watching the series. I love you all very much. Have a fantastic day. Bray have been saved, and I'll see you for another video on my channel very soon.